Hello, hello everyone. Welcome back to my page. All right, let's see what we got for you right now. We have a van. You guys may think I don't collect vans. I collect everything from sports cars and convertibles to vans. And this is one unique piece. Why? First of all, because I never seen one of them in person. Second of all, because it's a real heavy die cast. It's one of my heaviest die casts that I own. I have a, a few other vans that are also very heavy. But this is a solid van. It must have been it must have been a big van in real life. This is a 1961 Peugeot D. Four B. Now this is a nice piece of work. I, I like it. It's an. It's. I like this, especially the front. Obviously, it's very different. That grill sticking out. It's like the engine itself. It's very. It looks very out there. Like that's my grill. That's my front. And deal with it. And even though it's an old old van, because it must have been one of the first Peugeots vans ever made one of the very i'm thinking it's uh it looks very reliable it's very squarish but it looks like every part of it it's for you to cargo with you even see the back it's like swollen out sticking out a little bit now they come with no bumper so it's not that i'm missing bumpers they don't come with a bumper which i was surprised I, i'm guessing that's how they made them in real life now, this is a French uh, postal service back in the days. Post, I don't know how you say it, post is. It's from part of the museum collection. Now, they, these are really nice, really nice. It looks very uh, solid, very well made. Very well made, I gotta say it. I like those wheels, how the, it is. Obviously, they paint them according to the vehicle's color. But the big center hubcap. And then it comes to the front. Those headlights. They're like a yellowish. And I noticed that a lot with the French vehicles. Back in the days they used to like painting those. Not painting, I'm sorry. Light bulbs are more like yellowish. And also the headlight itself. It was different from other uh, models. I, I never seen an American car come out with headlights like that. Maybe to my knowledge, if you know one, let me know. But in French cars, specifically French, Citroëns, Peugeot, I remember seeing uh, back in the days some of them like that. Now it's cute. It looks good. I like it. It looks attractive. It's a nice looking van. I gotta say it. To be an old, old van, again, I find beauty in every car and even though this is a cargo car it's still nice i like those separated front windshield very old school it reminds me a bit of the volkswagen like the i think it's called a samba or the volkswagen furgon which was uh also the cargo van and the van itself for volkswagen it also had the old school ones had also that separated um in two it's it's cute i like it it's it's that must have been a bumper that if you crash against it your car wouldn't survive this car itself must have been solid solid metal you did not want to crash against one of these your car would have been an accordion and this car would have been just barely scratched <laughs> All right, I'm going to let it go around again so you can have a nice look at it and enjoy it. Again, guys, I say in this other I say this in other videos, if you hear someone snoring it's not me it's my dog he snores but he wants to be around me and i cannot make a difference he wants to be here and he has to be here 
So he's, he falls asleep by my foot and he snores and snores and snores. So that's the snoring that you guys hear. It's not me. I do not breathe hard. And if I do, not that hard. So once again, I want to thank everyone that's been following me and com commenting in my videos. Thank you for the thumbs up. I'm glad you're enjoying my videos. Um, let me know what cars you want to see. I mean, I got every brand out there. I'm starting to build up now more also my American Cards brand. I don't, I don't have a lot, but I'm trying to get a lot more. But obviously, my biggest issue is space. I don't know where to hang them from no more. I'm gonna start. I'm gonna start hanging them by the roof, by the by the ceiling, like ornaments. I don't know where to put them no more. I'm getting another shelf. I have like three shelves with. I'm sorry. I'm getting another display shelves. I got like each uh, display has about ten shelves each, full of die cast. I must. I must have. Almost like a thousand die cast. And not, not trying to exaggerate. I'm just um, letting you guys know. Uh, but again, it's my passion. <laughs> so let me guys let me know what you guys think about these videos. And I'll see you on my next video. Stay safe, everyone. Goodbye.